just spent the last few hours testing eight flagship AI tools to see if they can write text that will not be detected as AI written content by AI detection tools. And the result is quite surprising because only three flagship models passed the test and everybody else failed miserably. In this video, we're going to celebrate the winners and bury the losers. Let's get started. The first model that we are going to test today is GPT-40. So I've tested a bunch of chat GPT models, open AI models, and this is the prompt. The prompt is simply write a 300 words SEO focused article on AI code editor named tabs. Make sure it will rank high on Google, undetectable as an AI generated content. Once I give this, GPT-4 is super fast and then it gives me the article and I paste the article on a tool that I found on internet and it says it is 100% likely that it is AI written and it's not even like 70% or 80%, it's like 100% AI written. O3 is one of the best models. I've been using it as search engine at this particular point, and I'm giving the same prompt to OpenAI's ChatGPT O3. It is a thinking model. It's not a fair comparison between thinking and non-thinking model, but again, this is a thinking model. And one particular thing that I found about O3 that I did not see with any other model is that O3 is the primary model that was so diligent in trying to stick to 300 words. So in fact, you can see that first time when it creates the text, it during the thinking process, it sees the number of words it has created and then it figures out that, oh, it is not 300. It is like somewhere less than 300, 270 ish. So it has to now add more words just to make sure that we are get hitting the 300 mark. I found it very sincere. I found it very interesting that a model has taken such a step to ensure that the uh, prompt alignment is there. I don't think like I've seen any other model like this. The rest of the video, we would be testing it with Kimi, Google Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is one of the celebrated models, Mistral model. After thinking for one minute, four seconds, it has given me an article. Let's paste the article on the AI detection tool. And surprisingly, the only model the only model that out of box without any correction that says that it is just 19% that is text that is likely generated by AI. Once you remove that text, it's 0%. So 0%, the tool says 0% written by AI. And I think it's pretty fascinating to see that O3 suddenly just like zero shot gave me this without any follow up and then it works out of box. One interesting model that OpenAI that has been promoting as a writing research model, which is ChatGPT 4.5. I've personally used 4.5 or different places wherever I needed like a human like writing. And I like the writing tone of ChatGPT's 4.5. Now ChatGPT 4.5 is a heavy model. So OpenAI says that it will always take time to give you the response back. And the 4.5, in this case, I gave the same prompt as you can see here. It takes a lot of time to get the answer back. But once we have the answer, so I'm pasting the same article on uh, the AI detection tool and uh, now from uh, OpenAI GPT 4.5 which is specifically designed to write like humans but even then this detection tool says this is 100% written by AI 100% of text is likely written by AI which is very surprising because in my mind I thought 4.5 would be the first model that would pass the test. But unfortunately for OpenAI's family, it is O3 the first model to pass the test and 4.5 did not do the job, which is, to be honest, like given the quality of the model, the hype that they've given, very surprising for me. The next model that I wanted to try is uh, ChatGPT 4.1. Uh, this is the GPT 4.1. They introduced it as only APA model and then everybody loved it. So they added it as part of the ChatGPT Plus subscription. It's primarily designed for coding but I wanted to just test it. So when we tested the tool, we get 100% AI generated content. So once again, zero shot, it does not give me anything that bypasses the tool. Next, we are going to test it with one of the most viral model at this particular point. If you have not seen my Kimi video, strongly encourage you to go see my Kimi video. Kimi is currently rocking. It's the best model probably at this particular point in terms of open source. And there is something about Kimi Stone that doesn't uh, look like an open AI model, right? So every other model, if you see, it almost feels like they're like brothers and sisters of open AI or children of open AI. But I think in a long time, for the first time, I feel Kimi has a different tone, different, so something about this model is different. I don't know if they built data set from scratch. I don't know if they did something else, but Kimi has some difference in tone. So I've tested it with Kimi, the same prompt, uh, SEO focused article. Now, when we paste it to the tool for the first time, that the tool says 60% is likely A, which is very interesting for me because if, for a model like 4.5, GPT 4.5, which was 100%, but Kimi gave me 60%. 
So I was like, what if for the first time I'm doing this, I was like, what if we can uh, go ahead and then ask one follow up question. So instead of zero shot, we have one follow up where we say, can you make this more like, you know, human not detected by AI. And uh, once we send this particular thing, um, it actually goes, uh, goes back to uh, do the changes for us. And with the changed one, when we go back and then paste it on the tool, the same Kimi, just one follow up and then paste it. No deleting, no editing, 0% text likely generated by AI. It's very fascinating. Like I said, like I could feel there is a vibe that I could feel that Kimi has a different tone, but it was also surprising that the current EA detection tool, one follow up message, Kimi has changed everything completely in such a way that it says 0% text is detected, um, written by AI, which is very surprising but also not very surprising. I love this model. You should definitely try out Kimi if you have not tried out. And in my video, I also highlight how or like what are the different ways you can access Kimi. So I'll link the video in the YouTube description below. Now we have got just a comparison because somebody will go comment saying, Hey, you didn't do it with chat GPT. You did it with Kimi. Do you like Chinese more than American? So to avoid this unnecessary fight, I just did the same follow up with GPT 4.1 where I already asked this question. I'm not doing it with 4.5, it take a lot of time. But when I did the same follow with 4.1, it still generated a new text that is 100% likely written by AI. Uh, this is what the tool tells me. So it's Skimmy that is doing something different, which is very interesting. Now we are asking the same question to Lee Chat, which is uh, Lee Chat, maybe French. Uh, for, for Mistral models, um, I don't know exactly what the model is, but it is definitely one of the faster Mistral models. Now, when we give the same prompt, when we ask the same question for the first time, it gives 100% AI generated text. So Mistral doesn't bypass it. But again, now to give benefit of doubt to everybody, we can just ask the follow up question again. When we ask the follow up question again, you can see Mistral is updating the text, uh, the string uh, and give you the new version. And even with the new version, you can see that Mistral has not done any change. Like it's, it's like still literally 100% AI generated. So you can see Mistral is not something that you would be using if you want to bypass AI um, generated uh, AI detection tools or, uh, you know, uh, that, that kind of a system. Now, one of the most powered, uh, one of the most celebrated model, <coughs> one of the most celebrated model at this particular point is Google's two point, Gemini 2.5 Pro. And I'm trying it on Google AI Studio, the same prompt, simple prompt. And very surprisingly, Google has been the first model in this test that gives me the number of words much lesser than what the AI tool can even use it. So we've been asking these models to give us 300 words, but Google comes back and then gives us only 218 words, which first of all, to me is very surprising because I have found previously in my test with respect to coding and other things. This is the thinking model 2.5 pro. The model was very good. I mean, it is still very good, but in terms of prompt alignment, I'm very surprised. Like Google has not given me exactly what I asked. Like when I asked 300, O3 went to a level to use a Python tool to count the number of words, see a lesser amount of words and then add it. But uh, yeah, Google has done it. So we have to ask Google to increase the number of words. And once it increases the number of words, um, it's quite obvious that um, it's not going to do the job perfectly. Um, not the bias, but you know, the first impression was not good and it did not do the job good. And again, to give benefit of doubt, we are going ahead and now asking Google again, uh, can you change it like to write less AI written? And this is exactly where something changes like from hundred percent to 71%. Now it say 71% has been written by AI, which is still like above 50%. So I'm not going to count it. So Google, you fail the test miserably. The final model I want to test in this particular test is uh, something that everybody loves, but somehow I'm not paying for Anthropic because their infra is terrible. So I want to pay for Anthropic. Uh, their models are super good uh, for some reason, something they are doing very different. And, uh, but the problem is, you know, like half of the time it's down. So even if I'm going to pay for it, uh, it might sound like, uh, you know, I'm not able to use the model half of the time, but we're going to asking this question to Claude Sonnet 4, not even Opus 4, Claude Sonnet 4. And again, for these kind of tasks, you don't need like bigger models. O3 did a good job. Kimi did a good job. But in this case, I'm going ahead with Sonnet 4. Okay. So we got the text. I'm pasting the text. And then you can see that it says 
100 percent of the text is likely generated by ai and just like we did with kimi we are going to ask one change can you change it so that you know it is not detected by ai like one extra follow-up that we have added and with that follow-up um anthropic very cool interface if you see the interface it's almost like seeing matrix like you have got a bunch of text it's erasing removing the text and then it is adding new text at least in terms of the user experience or user interface design it looks so cool to see this watch this rewriting the text that we have got and i don't think this is uh, some sort of like fancy thing that they have done with respect to the llm it's just the user experience thing so we have got the new text copy the new text paste it on uh, the tool and then see what it is going to do and uh, pasting the text detect all and then here is the result zero percent so we have got three models of so far one open ai o3 which is like probably the best in this you know i didn't have to do follow up i didn't have to do anything and claude after the follow up it has done and in, in fact there is an interesting element right it says these are the human writing elements personal anecdotes conversational tone informal contractions real world scenarios so it says i did all these things to make sure that the text doesn't look like ai generated and even i tried to remove a couple of these words and see if you know from 0% it is going to increase but it did not if i were to rank this all the models i would say o3 is the best model because o3 without any follow up the just like the same prompt without any follow up i gave it and then it gave me the answer back it was less uh, i think uh, less than 50% and then we removed the bunch of text there o3 did 0% i liked o3 because also the sincerity that it put it together with the tool Again, you, you can see it in a different way, right? You can see that O3 used a tool like a Python Ripple. O3 is a top model. I would say Kimi is the second best. All I had to do is like go tell once because Kimi also zero shot scored 70%, not like 100% like other models. And I would say Claude Sonnet 4 is the third model. Interestingly, I expected Claude to tell me that, hey, Abdul, um, this is illegal to do so. So I am going to report you to FBI or some law enforcement. But um, yeah, jokes aside. Uh, if you think that I've missed out any LLM, anything, let me know in the comment section. But uh, it was an interesting test. And now you know where you should go for your college assignment. Uh, let me know what you think about this video. See you in another video. Happy prompting.